Today is all about action sets. Now, if you've watched my videos, I've, I've gone over this stuff before, but this is more geared to a beginner. It's kind of overwhelming. There's so many features. What are action sets? What do they do? I'm going to try to break it all down, walk you through it, and hopefully teach you a thing or two. So, okay. An action set is basically a whole nother set of all the controller prompts. You can see up on the top, I have three, well, I've created two action sets, and then the default. So I have infantry, driving, and flying. So that lets me create a whole separate template of controls for specific functions in the game. And then you bind that to a particular button to switch between them. So, you know, like here I have, this is my infantry action set. I tap, I tap that once that takes me to driving. Driving is a completely different set of controls with analog steering. Like it's not, I'm not getting any function right here. But if I go back, You know, now I have, oops, let's switch to that. You know, so then I have analog steering for the controls. And then I want to switch back. And then I have, you know, another one for flying too. But what, so what is that? How did I do that? Really, it's pretty simple. And this, you can control that too. So we would go in here down on the bottom there when you hit select manage action set and then I could define what this one is called you can also make one that would go automatically to when the mouse cursor is up actually let's just to show let's do that so I'm gonna go to add action set let's call it Let's call it menu. Uh, yeah, let's not copy anything over. So then let's go to menu. I You can hit the bumpers to, wrote, to cycle through them. And then for here, let's just make this mouse uh, click action left mouse. All right. So now in this one, let's go to manage action set. Action set switch when cursor is shown, we'll go to menu. When cursor is hidden, go back to infantry. Okay. Yeah, so now I have no... The triggers aren't working for mouse. The click. That that can be useful, you know, if, if the game's menu is really different or like... Um, You know, like right here, like my, I have the mouse triggers set, I have the trigger set to mouse, and in here it's not working because it's showing the cursor, it is switching me to the menu set. So you can use that to create a set, you know, if you need different controls whenever you have a cursor on the screen. Now the one thing I will say about that is it's not, it's not perfect. Sometimes, like, depending on the game, if it has some kind of, like, weird custom cursor, the Steam may not understand. It, it won't get that that's the mouse cursor. So just toss that out there. But that can be useful when you need, you know, whenever you need, uh, like, mouse functions and stuff. But I don't need that for this, so I'm going to delete this. And then whenever you're adding one, you can add action set, and you can copy everything from, you know, like if you're building it and it's mostly the same, you can just copy it over. So, okay, that's basic overview. Now, how do you get to that? Well, like for mine, I have it in here. Regular press. Regular press change to driving. Long press change to flying. You can fiddle around with activators and have it be, you know, change however you want. But the actual binding is this. It's not entirely clear. The thing, thing that looks like a street light with two arrows. So you would click into that. 
And then you can display and have it beep. And yes, I want it to do that. So that's just um, a pretty quick... A quick rough-and-tumble look at what, what action sets are. I just wanted to explain specifically what they are, what they do, how you typically would use them. But then you can also get creative with it. Like, uh, in one of my previous videos, I created a toggle run using an action set. Because I wanted it to... Like, I don't need it for Arma, because I have... This one, I just like it. Full push is run. But in uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, I wanted it to feel like the console where you click it, click the stick to run, let go, and then it defaults back. So what I'd, I'm not going to cover that entirely here, but I'll link to that one. But what I did was I created a whole separate action set. So I had click the stick, go to a different action set, where shift is on this forward stick, and then on release... You know, the release press in that run action set, it went back to the default. Like, you can get pretty clever and do some interesting things with them. And you could also put them inside... You know, put them inside of a, a touch menu if you want. Which I don't need that for Arma, because I'm using these. But yeah, you can put... An action set change in there, you can have it be the mouse cursor, you can have it be a button. I tend to like to have it on the select button. In this game, it really benefits because I get... I want a separate set for analog controls. So I have analog steering and then a separate set for flying, too. So, what else do I need to cover in this? I really just wanted to kind of... It's not so much a tutorial, more just like explaining explaining what it is, because some people don't know what action sets are or how you would use them. You'd use them to make, you know, whole separate sets of controls. But like I said, you can also get creative and make like a whole separate set that is just a toggle run that turns itself off. You can make a separate one that pops up when the mouse cursor is shown. So, you know, it gets pretty interesting once you dig into it. And that, it's also, like, one of the really big things that kind of leverages people complaining that you can't use a controller because there's not enough inputs. Oh, you... <laughs> you can make... You can get enough inputs through action sets. Action sets, taps and holds double presses, whatever, I have yet to come across a game where I can't fit all the controls. Which is also why I kind of always come back to demonstrating this stuff in Arma, because Arma is a very input complicated game. Like, there's just a lot of controls in this game. I think that's pretty much all I got. I don't have too much... I don't need to make this a really long one. I just wanted to sort of explain briefly what action sets are how you typically use them, where it is in the binding screen to change them, and just some examples of other ways you can do use them, like the uh, mouse cursor and the toggle run. So yeah, I think that's it. All right, I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh... I love this game. <laughs> yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.